Welcome to today's video. G'day guys, Will Kitchen here. Welcome back to another video and what a day. Look at the conditions. Just a little bit of swell rolling through, no wind. We're just sitting around catching some snapper and it has been a great session. It's been one of the best snapper sessions that we've had for a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Seriously, they've just been in, just biting insane. It's been crazy. We started off in close early this morning and had about an hour of power in there before the sun came up. And that was really good fun. And then we came out a bit wider here and they were literally just going off their nut. As always, I'll probably talk at the end of the video and give some tips and talk about the gear and that sort of stuff. Stay tuned for that. If you do enjoy the video, please subscribe, share it with your mates if you think it could help them, leave a like and feel free to leave a comment and have a chat or ask any questions as well. We'll see you earlier this morning. We'll take off from there. We started in close in a bit shallower water. Yeah, it was some <laughs> really good action. So check this out. So on our second drift of the morning, we had the soft plastic out. You can see it there in the rod holder in the middle. Dad and myself were floating down pilchards and I hooked a really, really good fish on bait. Sadly, I pulled the hooks. I was absolutely spewing, but luckily the plastic bucket over only a couple of seconds later. That's a good one. No, I missed one and then this just went off straight away. Could be a good fish. Yeah. This thing's a six hook, right? That's what we want. There we go, guys. Second drift, our first proper drift after we lined it up. I had one on the bait, lost it, absolutely spewing. It was taking line, but then the plastic in the rod holder was literally just dangling there up off the bottom and it went off a couple seconds later. So it would have been a school around this size. Very happy with that. So I'm gonna bleed this fella. We're gonna turn around and go back up on that school again while it's still early. It's quick fishing because as soon as that sun comes up, they can go off the chill bit. So you really gotta just go hard while, uh, while they're biting. You don't have time to stuff around really. So anyway, I'll bleed this guy and we'll go back up. The fish are holding on this small lump or bommy that we've got. And there's a bit of bait around it, but as soon as we pulled up this morning, we could see um, some archers. I'll even try and put a photo on the screen for you of what we saw. So we're just really working that hard because they're holding pretty tight to that. And most of our bites have been around there. As soon as we drift off it, it sort of goes a bit dead. So we're really focusing on that. We're just doing short drifts. We're gonna go straight back up there now. That'll be fine. I'm putting that back down. That uh, plastic's on. Do you want it? No, you got it. Yeah. Oh, Livey. Or a track. Is it a draggy, is it? Uh, now it's gone around it. Watch the other line now. Come on, good boy. Oh, a little tail. Not as good as the last one or going on one? Not as good. I hope it's not a tail. Nah, it's bobbing like a snapper. 
Oh, you're on, you're on, big time, big time. Get it. If you're wondering, Dad's um, <laughs> literally as we got here in the dark. <laughs> The top runner of his rod came off, so he's not having a good morning, but he put it down anyway. Looks like that'll be a decent one. Yeah, not too bad. No. Yep. He's alright. Yep. Take him any day of the week. There's that one that was on the plastic before. And I've already bled it, but that's that nice one Dad got on the bait before. You can see we're just coming into a school of them on the sounder now. So hopefully one of the rods behind me just goes off in a second. But yeah, very nice. Good start to the morning anyway. Oh, a little tray. Oh, hang on. Just lift it. Yeah. I'll wind up. We're on. Here, take it. Something like half decent, yeah. Little snap. Little snap. Oh well, that was a weird fight, eh? He was going nuts. Yeah, he'll be legal, I think. Which is alright for where we are, in close. The rule is just behind you. Dad just caught that traggy and then the rod went off. Yep, 40. Beautiful. Alright, yeah, I'll deal with him in a sec. Alright guys, so... As you can see behind me, the sun's come up and straight away the bite slowed down. I mean, if you kept fishing, you might grind out one or maybe two more if you were really lucky. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one more drift and see if we can do that. We're gonna try and jig some liveys while we're fishing. And then we're gonna head a bit wider and just into some deeper water where they'll hopefully still be biting. Um, so usually when the sun comes up in deeper water, they bite a little bit later into the morning than in close here in the shallower stuff. So anyway, We'll keep you updated. You might see us get one, or you might see us when we're out a bit wider. So stay tuned. We didn't get any more fishing close, so we decided to quickly head out a little bit wider to try our luck out there. Guys, so we just got out here, shut down in close. We couldn't really catch a livey, so we just shot out here. It's good, light winds and so far, no current. We're hoping as he gets down, there's no current down on the bottom. But so far, his bait's just going straight down. We just saw a bit of a school of fish on a bit of a lump out here. Rough lump. And there's some coming on the sounder right now. So I'm going to get down there. I reckon Dad will be on here. You got it, yeah. whatever it is. Might be a snapper. Not going too bad for whatever it is. Yeah. Hopefully it's a snap. I hope it's a snapper. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be alright if it is. Yeah. It's still going. And then see they're doing a bit of bobbing. Yeah. Could be. That's not a snap though, I don't think. Well, it might be a snap, I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Keep your fingers crossed. Yeah. It's going alright. Oh, it's a snap, huh? Yeah? Tusky. Tusky. Mine might be a snapper. It hit on the drop and then just did some head bombing. Okay, tusky. 
Yeah, nice. I don't know what it's going to be. Nice, no, nice. Well, that's a good little combination. That's a nice tusky. Nice tusky. Nice tusky snap. and a snap. Very good. Oh. Stay in that's the boat, good. Will. Stay in the boat. <laughs> so there's a bit of um, bit of a lump, and it's got a really good looking bit of reef and rough bottom there on the sounder. And there's some bait showing up on top of that and around that there's not much but when we drift onto that there's um good shows of bait i'm just looking at the sounder now and there you go dad got that nice tusky which can't complain with that i just got that snapper that just smashed me on the drop so that put up a good little fight all right dad just missed a good fish in the background <laughs> but there's his tusky he just got last drop beautiful color that's a nice size one and a bit of variety that's good and at the same time, we had a bit of a double hookup. I got a snapper, so there's a few of those around on these bait schools. Yeah, might go up for another drift or something soon. Good show, yeah. yeah. He's still floating down. Mm. Boat down, too, up. Yeah. Yeah, it's calm. There's a bite. I've got that one. That'll be a snap. I think, the way it's going. It's going alright. Here he comes. Yep. Snapper, yep. Yep, snap. Yeah, he's alright. He's alright. Alright, and there's that little one that I got at the same time. Not bad. Just over 40, so not tiny, but Dad just got that one as well while I was bleeding this. So I'll just quickly talk about baiting up when you're using snell hooks. The top hook goes through the eye or the hard bit of the nose and the second one goes through the back. Make sure it's exposed and not buried in the bait. Also make sure the line between your hooks is nice and loose so it looks natural while it floats down. Oh. See that? Yeah. Might have another pearl here or something like that. That was another good bite. There. Oh! There. <laughs> he smashed it! That's going better. That's a snapper. That's a snapper. <laughs> I don't know what I've got at. It might be a pearly or something. That's going good. Nah, but still, it's got some head bobs going. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a snapper. Oh, you're kidding. He can hang there for a bit while you catch your fish. This will be another half decent one. Yeah. Here it is. Not real big. He's alright. He's alright. That's what we like. You have to hold that one up. There's, the secret is you got to have your tip runner running down on top of your sinker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a new technique. New technique. Revolutionising the fishing world. Yeah. You just like the tip runner go down. Yeah. It dangles in the water just to try. <laughs> so break your tip runners off and let it go down. Kids out there, yeah. snap your tips off. Yeah. Let, let it run down, down your line. You'll get snapper all day. You get these. <laughs> we'll hold it up for you. There we go, everybody. Not a giant, but a nice one. Put up a good fight. He absolutely smashed it. Just started taking off. So, yeah, it's really good fun when they're feeding hard like that. Oh, 
Yeah. Well, I don't know, we're still catching them. <laughs> we might as well have one drop, would you? Yeah, it's true. Throw that back down. No, it's not this time. Except that. Oh, that's a good trick. Yep. Oh, jeez. What is going on? <laughs> you know what, I turned around to turn that camera off. Yeah. Fish. That had the rod bent over? Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> I've missed a couple of good ones today. Come on, come over mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll come through them, you're on the right side of the boat. Yeah, the little suckers are down there. Yeah? yeah. As soon as it gets in the zone, this yeah. is beat this one. Yeah. But as soon as it gets in the zone, yeah. they're just smashing it. <laughs> Dad is on fire! <laughs> it's actually going alright. I don't think it's as good as the last one. No. He is going. Dad's rod tip. <laughs> Look at that guys, that snapper dad just got threw up. Looks like an octopus or maybe a squid or something like that that's been munched up. Very interesting. Just have a look at these conditions guys. <laughs> that's what you wait for. Makes it a lot easier to fish as well, seriously. There's no wind pushing you along, you're not getting knocked around, but yeah. Also makes it a smoother run to get places. Alrighty guys, well that brings us to the end of the session. What a day, that was just such fun. Almost every time our bait got floated down or our lures, they were just getting absolutely slammed. So you know the snapper are on <laughs> when that's happening. Very, very fun and the size was there. They weren't all monsters, but overall the size was very, very good. Now a couple of things to remember. As I've been saying in all my snapper videos recently, you gotta get out there early if you're fishing in close. And if that shuts down, you gotta try and get out wide into a little bit deeper water and fish for them out there because they'll bite a little bit later into the morning. You wanna look for a day where there's hardly any wind pushing you along because you want a nice slow drift. You're not gonna be using much weight in terms of sinkers and jig heads. You wanna be floating those down as slowly as possible because the snapper love to hit it on the drop. Now, although it is coming close to summer, well, it is summer as I'm filming this uh, outro to the video, but there are still some snapper around. There's been some good catches. Um, they are getting less and less, but out wider on your 24 fathoms and 36 fathoms, and obviously the 50 fathoms off the Gold Coast, you'll still catch snapper through summer. The only thing is, it's very frustrating because you never know what it's like until you get out there. But if the current is running, the East Australian current, then you may as well not fish because you literally cannot get to the bottom. No matter how heavy your sink is, or whether you reverse the boat or use a parachute, it's just impossible to fish some days. So there are still numbers around, but once that current starts, it's gonna be very, very hard out there. Now, before I go, I just wanna say a really, really big thank you if you've watched this far into the video, but also if you support my videos all the time, if you're a subscriber and if you leave comments, that's awesome. I really appreciate it. You have no idea how much it means to me. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that button and the notification bell so you can uh, check out my videos and have a chat in the comments under all of them. There's plenty more really exciting action to come, so make sure you stay tuned. I've got several videos lined up, ready to post, and I'm also gonna be doing a fair bit of fishing over summer for a lot of really fun species. So yeah, I can't wait to show you guys that. Until next time, everyone, tight lines and happy fishing.